welcome to a new vlog. It's Monday today and I'm just getting ready for hot yoga. I signed up for a class kind of first thing this morning. I have this horrible habit of getting on my phone as soon as I wake up in the morning and it keeps me in bed for way too long in the mornings and I feel like it just starts me off on the wrong note. <laughs> So my goal for this week is to stay off my phone in the mornings and just get out of bed when I wake up. I feel like I've been talking about this on here in the past and like, it's just my focus for the mornings this week. So we're off to a good start. But yeah, I'm gonna head to hot yoga. I'm not gonna take you guys with me because I don't like to film in there, but I'll see you when I get back and we'll continue on our day. Welcome to a new vlog, you guys. It's gonna be a good week. Back from yoga. I've actually been back for a little while. I showered and like did my skincare and just sat on the couch for a while. Feeling hungry, so I'm gonna heat myself up some leftover soup. I made this white bean coconut milk kale soup for dinner the other night. I was gonna film a video this afternoon, like a beauty video but I can't really think of anything to film so yeah I might just do some stuff around the house instead I have some laundry to fold and like a few little chores and things to do around the house I think that might be the focus of my afternoon maybe I'll get some reading done and then Will's cousin Matt is in town and I think he's gonna come over tonight and we're either gonna like hang out at home or go out for like drinks and a snack or dinner or something yoga felt so good I really needed it I haven't been going because it's so hot out and the thought of going to hot yoga when it's so hot outside is like kind of gross but because it's kind of like dark and rainy today it felt like a little bit more the vibe and yeah i was just feeling so stiff <laughs> so i'm really happy i went <laughs> I was just doing some cleaning and I had to stop and just like put on some makeup and do my hair because I've just not I haven't been feeling very like good in my skin recently um, which is very unlike me so yeah I just needed to like take a moment to like put myself together uh, before I continued on with my day and here we are I'm feeling much better what I was about to do before I took my little get ready moment was uh, to put all of this stuff away. So last week we had a little incident, we had a little leak in our kitchen sink. I guess that was like maybe two weeks ago and it got uh, damp underneath the sink and so we were pulling everything out of it and so everything from underneath the kitchen sink has just ended up here on the floor in our bedroom. So I'm gonna deal with that now. So most of this came from underneath the sink, minus Will's <laughs> dirty socks. Um, but one of the things that we've been storing under there was all of this like liquor basically. So it's a bunch of wine and champagne and stuff that we got as gifts, uh, mostly for things that were happening around our wedding. Um, and we just haven't had a chance to drink it yet. And actually, like alcohol and like drinking stuff takes up so much room in our kitchen cupboards and I never have enough room in the kitchen cupboards for like what I actually need to keep in the kitchen like food and dishes and stuff like up here in this cupboard that like whole top shelf is full of stuff and I realized that like a, a few months ago when I was taking my little break from vlogging I picked up a new piece of furniture for the house and I feel like I haven't even shown it to you guys yet and it wouldn't have been in the background of any of my videos or anything so I actually ended up buying this bar cart off Facebook marketplace I bought this one because it was a good size for this space we just had this big empty space here the Mila the air purifier was there so I just like moved that around the corner into the bedroom um, and yeah I got this little bar cart I thought that this color was gonna be the same as the color of our 
coffee table and that they would match nicely. They're actually both from Beauclair, but it ended up being a different color, but I still feel like it's fine. And so I'm gonna fill up this cart now and just clean up that side of the bedroom that needs cleaning up. Everything from under the sink is in here. I'm gonna get Will to get everything out of that top shelf when he comes home and then I'll add that to here as well. I still have like a full kitchen like declutter slash organization video that I wanna film, but I'm just hesitant to do it because I, I feel like I'm just gonna pull everything out of the cupboards and then just have to like put it all back in because they're just like full to the brim. I need to figure out some other way of organization in there. So I'm just waiting for like the inspiration to hit me. And then once that happens, I'm going to film that video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to pick up the rest of the stuff from beside the bed there and then just tidy up a little bit more in here and maybe read my book for like an hour or something. And then we'll start to transition into like the evening part of this day. Okay, before I sit down to read, I'm still reading Kristen Hanna, The Great Alone. I'm like almost halfway done. I am not enjoying it as much as I was hoping to. I find myself like reading the same paragraphs over and over again or having to even go back a couple of pages because I realize I've been zoning out as I've been reading, which has not been happening to me at all lately. So yeah, I'm hoping it kind of picks up as we get more towards the end of the book. But before I get into that, I wanted to just open a package with you guys because I've got one here. And this is what we do together. <laughs> I ordered off two different stores on AliExpress and they came together in one package, which is nice. I actually just needed to pick up some new lashes for my freelance kit. I actually still have a ton of lashes, but, but this season I've kind of changed the type of lashes that I like using on people. I'm finding a lot of people are asking for half lashes or just corner lashes and i'm really liking the look of those right now as well and so at the beginning of the season i had bought um some of these half lash style sets of lashes and i had tried out a bunch of different styles and these are the ones that ended up being some of my favorites for my freelance kit so these are all half lash styles i do actually usually end up trimming these even more um to make them even shorter uh, i got 101 107 106 and 10 11. at the beginning of this season i actually had bought like 20 different styles of lashes and I tried out a bunch of different ones and so this is just kind of me repurchasing my favorites so besides the half lashes I also got these ones this is C04 I like that these have a clear band and they're also very natural so super natural really lightweight style for the girls who are looking for that. I find most of my clients are a little hesitant to wear lashes and they just want something either very natural or like the corner half lash. So I picked up a bunch of those. Then this was a standout style for me in terms of natural lashes. But yeah, this is another really natural style, C40. More like kind of spiky, but still really natural. And then this one is LX6. So these are more in like little clusters. So these are really like for someone who has long lashes already and just want to like fill in a little bit of thickness. And again, they're just super lightweight, really wearable. So I got a bunch of those as well. I do carry more like full on like drama lashes with me as well. But like I said, most people are asking for these more natural ones. So I've been going through these ones a lot quicker. Okay, I'm gonna put that all away and then sit down and read for a bit. Kind of just hang out and wait for Will to come home and see what the plan is for this evening. Okay, it's been a few hours. It's 
our plans for the evening have changed. I've just been reading and hanging out with Will mostly all afternoon. My book is getting very sad. It is very sad, it is hard to read. Change of plans for this evening. We were supposed to go and hang out with Will's cousin, but that's not happening anymore which means we are home for dinner tonight. And I didn't really have a ton of groceries because I wasn't expecting to make dinner tonight. And then we're leaving to go to uh, Will's aunt and uncle's cottage tomorrow. So I wasn't planning on getting groceries until we got back. So I kind of dug through the freezer a little bit and I found these Korean spicy rice cakes that I got at Trader Joe's and then these uh, green onion pancakes as well. So I'm gonna make these and then just to make it like more filling and nutritious, <laughs> I'm just gonna fry up some tofu and I have a little bit of cauliflower left over so I'm gonna boil this as well. But yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be a chill evening at home. I got a notification that an episode of Big Brother has been uploaded, so I'm really excited about that. It's starting so late this year. Usually Big Brother is like a summer show and we watch it all summer into the fall, but this year it didn't start until August, which is just so strange. So strange not to have Big Brother all summer, but I'm happy it's finally here. And then tomorrow we have errands to run before we head out to the cottage. I've never been to this cottage before. It's uh, Will's aunt and uncle and they are on their own island. Like you have to take a boat to get there. I don't know if they're the only cottage on the island. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But it's not accessible by car. You have to go by boat. We're gonna meet Will's dad at the boat and then we'll all take the boat over together and then we're gonna hang out there and have dinner tomorrow night and stuff. So. I'm looking forward to a little midweek getaway. But yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the morning when we head out to do some errands before all that. Good morning, you guys. Will's got the music going out there, so I just popped in here to say hello. It's a new day. I'm wearing the same shirt, but it is a new day. I just got out of the shower. I had like a full on shower, washed my hair, shaved my legs, did like the whole thing. Getting ready for a little adventure for the next couple of days. Yeah, we're just getting ready to head off to Will's aunt and uncle's cottage. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to pack. We already had breakfast and everything. Um, I'm just gonna tidy up the bedroom a little bit so it's nice and clean for when we come home and then we're gonna head out We're gonna stop at the LCBO to get some drinks to bring and We're also gonna go to Craig's cookies and bring some dessert for everyone. So We have a couple little errands to run before we head out of the city and then we're gonna head out to Muskoka So we just parked the car, the dock's over this way. So we're just gonna go and hang out and wait to get picked up in the boat to head over to the island. Also, I forgot my vlog camera, so everything will be on my iPhone for the next couple days. It is like 10.30. We had a really beautiful time at the cottage. We had a really great dinner and just like chill like coffee and chats this morning. But we were up and out. Will and I decided we're gonna come for a little bite to eat before we head back to the city. So we're in Bala now and we're gonna go, yeah, get something to eat. <laughs> Um, 
And we're back. <laughs> Just a quick trip. I am fully in my pajamas. <laughs> It's like 3.30. I just feel so tired. We did not have a great sleep last night, but I'm trying not to nap uh, because naps when I'm super tired like this make me feel shitty when I wake up and I don't want that. So I'm just trying to like be productive and get a few things done before it's time to make dinner. So, I'm actually getting my kit ready for work tomorrow. I need to wash my brushes and then pack my kit. I have two jobs tomorrow. That's what is next on my to-do list for the day. ready for tomorrow I'm just gonna actually do a little bit of online shopping <laughs> uh, but it's for my kit there's just a couple of things that I need for my kit I need cinema secrets brush cleaner and Ruffer is having a buy one get one free sale on their brushes right now i'm in love with the Ruffer brushes that i've bought the last couple of years so i want to pick up some more so i'm gonna do that now and then probably just hang out try not to fall asleep until like around 6 30 and then i'm gonna make dinner for when will gets home at seven he had to go for a sportsman appointment good morning you guys it's so hot in here i just had the ac blasting for like five minutes so that i could take a minute to talk to you and just say hello it's 11 a.m i just finished my first client of the day i did a bridal trial it went really well i'll pop up a little video right here so you guys can see i have another appointment later today i'm doing a wedding at one o'clock so right now i'm in richmond hill and my wedding is all the way in the west end of toronto so it's quite far away um but it doesn't start until one and it's like kind of too much time too little time too little time to drive all the way home and then like do anything productive at home too much time to like go straight there so i think i'm going to run an errand i'm gonna actually go and pick up some cinema secrets from the face station which is a pro makeup store where um i have a discount set up it's close to where i used to live but far from where i currently am so i figure i might as well just go and do that while i'm here because i need cinema secrets and i tried to order it online and i couldn't get the discount it's like so annoying so i'm just gonna go in and uh yeah potentially one other errand as well and then we'll head over and do some wedding makeup it's a very fun busy thursday okay i got the goods the discount was only 10 percent off which is less than i remember it being but yeah better than nothing it's like noon and the location of the wedding that I'm doing is like 20 minutes away and I need to pee so bad. So I think I'm going to try and find a Starbucks so that I can get a snack and like something to eat and then um, use their bathroom and then I'll head over to the West End for my wedding. The sun's out. Whew. It is 3.45. I am done for the day. I think I took one video of the makeup that I did in there. Uh, here's the bride. I didn't have time to run one of the errands that I was wanting to run before, so I'm gonna go and do that now before I head home. I just have to pick something up from Will's aunt's house that I forgot when we were at their cottage yesterday. Was that just yesterday? That feels like it was so long ago. It's been a long day. But yeah, everything went really good. I feel happy. I feel very accomplished today. Everyone was happy with their makeup today. It's all a dream. Like we have no groceries, so I'm gonna have to try and figure something out for dinner because I do not feel like going to the grocery store. But I will figure that out when we come to it.
happy Friday. I actually just got back from the gym. I forgot to film in there. It was so busy. I was trying to just like stay calm and not be like furious at the amount of people that were in there. And then I just got to check the my workout. So leg day done. It is 12.30 now. I'm actually starving. So I'm going to make some lunch for me and Will. I have this Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice, which I'm excited to try because I know it's a lot of people's like one of their favorite things from Trader Joe's. And then I'll make some of these dumplings as well. rice is done so I thought we could try it together okay it tastes good I'm not saying it's not good but this literally tastes exactly like if I were to make my own fried rice at home it's definitely not worth driving to America for this experience and the fun of the trip of driving to America worth it but i probably wouldn't get this next time because yeah like i can make this so easily and so inexpensively okay dumplings are done as well okay it is 1 30 and i'm just putting on like a tiny bit of makeup to head out for the rest of the day the boys are all having a guys night tonight so they're all going to our friend micah's place for a barbecue so i'm gonna go and hang out with courtney and nora and anyone else that happens to be free on this friday afternoon a lot of people have friday afternoons off now which is really cool um like summer hours with their offices I feel like that's such a cool bonus for everyone. I really need to get my eyebrows done. I'll probably go next week, hopefully, if I can get in. They've grown back really nicely since the last time I got them done when they were just like so skinny. <laughs> My hair is a disaster, so let's please just ignore that. Actually, let me at least put it in a little bun. It's Saturday morning, and today has this like vibe in the air. It's feeling very fall. It's dark. It's like a little chilly. It's really quiet outside. Also not working on a Saturday, which is very unlike a summer Saturday. The vibes are high, but they are very fall. And I don't really know if I'm ready for that yet. Anyways, good morning. I've been up for a little bit already. It's like 9.45 in the morning. Will left to go golfing with his friends this morning and I'm just gonna be doing some prep. We're having a little daytime party here at the house tomorrow. So I wanna just kind of get ready for that. I need to get some groceries and like clean up the apartment a little bit. And then I also need to do a ton of editing. So that's pretty much gonna be my day today. Last night was really chill, super fun. We hung out at the park and then went back to Courtney's and played categories. It was like very chill. I'm having a great weekend so far. <laughs> Besides the fact that I'm breaking out, I exfoliated my face yesterday and like this side of my face is so like smooth and soft and happy. And this side of my face got a bit angry. 
But yeah, I think I'm just going to sit and drink my tea and do a little bit of editing and then I'll make a little grocery list. I thought I saw a bug, but it's not a bug. <laughs> I'll make a little grocery list and then we will head out to get some groceries and I'll show you what I'm gonna make for the party. We're having like a spritz party because we have all of this Aperol that's just been like sitting around in the house for so long from a party that we had last year. And then for like my bridal shower and our wedding and our New Year's party, we have so much leftover champagne. Lots of people gave it as gifts. So we're gonna do like a spritz party and have some Aperol spritzes and stuff during the day tomorrow. Hopefully the weather is a little bit nicer than it is today, but either way it'll be, it'll be good. So yeah, time to edit and then we will party prep together. Okay, I've been editing for a couple of hours. I actually just realized that I didn't put a video up on Friday this week. I didn't even, I just had a busy week and it didn't, it just didn't happen. So I'm sorry about that. Um, the sun is out. This, it's kind of crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but like the sky is super like dark still, but we've got sun coming from somewhere. The vibes are high, the vibes are high today. Um, I'm going to take a little break and heat myself up some lunch. I have a few leftovers from the food that we ordered for dinner last night, so I'm gonna have that. I also remembered that my mom wanted me to call her this morning, so I'm gonna do that too. And then get back to editing. And yeah, I still have a ton of editing to do, so I'm gonna continue to work on that and hopefully get it mostly finished or completely finished before I move on to like my other chores for the day. But yes, I'm really enjoying my nice slow Saturday. It's 1.45, I finished editing my video pretty much up until this point. So I'm taking a little break and just going through a couple of recipe books to figure out what I wanna make for the party tomorrow. So I knew for sure that I wanted to make this lentil and barley salad with tomatoes, spinach, and feta. This was a go-to for work lunches for me for years. I'm gonna sub out the feta cheese for the farm boy vegan feta, which is my favorite, and make this. And then I was also looking through some other cookbooks that I have here and I found this really easy summer veggie pasta, like a pasta salad that I'm gonna make. And then I'm thinking for the last thing, I'm gonna make this white bean, tomato, and olive bruschetta. There's no picture to show you, but it's basically like white bean, olive, parsley, tomato on a baguette. I feel like that'll be really yummy. Those are all like cold things. So I think I'm gonna look just in like the freezer section and see if there's anything that we can make easily in the oven for something warm. And then Will also wants to make guac, but that's gonna depend on the avocado situation at the grocery store. So we have to see how that goes. But I'm gonna shower and like get ready and stuff, make myself presentable, and then head out to Farm Boy because I wanna buy the Farm Boy feta, so I might as well get all the groceries there. And then I'm gonna come home and start to prep some of this food and get it ready to go for tomorrow. And yeah, like clean up the house and do other such party activities. So let me jump in the shower and like fix this and then we'll head out. <laughs> So I got everything for the party tomorrow, plus a few extras, some farm boy favorites, if you will. I also got myself a little snack because I'm still hungry. I just got um, this like couscous salad from the salad bar. I love the farm boy, like hot food and salad bar section. Anyways, it's like 3.30. I have some work to do on the computer for freelance. I need to send an invoice and also send an email to a client. So that's probably gonna take around like 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna sit down and do that. Then I'm gonna get to work preparing whatever in here can be prepared ahead of time. Then I need to finish editing this video and get it uploaded, do the thumbnail and everything. And I just like, 
I'm so sick of doing crappy thumbnails, but I'm always like rushing to get them done at the end because I'm editing my videos to get them up and then I just don't feel like I have like the energy to do a nice thumbnail. So I'm gonna attempt to make a nice thumbnail. And that's gonna be my day. That's gonna take me right to dinner time. I have no idea what we're gonna do for dinner. I'm gonna be making all this food for tomorrow. So maybe we'll order dinner tonight. And yeah, then tomorrow is a party day. And next week, my mom and my auntie are actually coming into town for the week. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to see them and hang out with them. I have some plans that I wanna do. And so that will be coming in next week's vlog. But yeah, I'm just gonna end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.